So good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Phone Boy with another in our uh, Checkmates Live uh, series of virtual events. And with us today, we have uh, uh, Jeff Kopko, who is one of our uh, cloud security architects. And uh, our our main speaker today is Ken Guo from Alcura. And we're going to talk about how you leverage uh, Checkpoint and Alcura to secure your multi-cloud environments. Um, just a couple of quick notes during the session here. Uh, if you got questions, we certainly encourage you to have questions. Um, please type them in the Q and A. We, we we have uh, folks around to answer those questions for you. And um, and yeah, and of course we're recording this. We'll post it on Checkmates later today. And uh, you know, and, and hopefully all and it should it should appear in the CloudMates community. We'll we will uh, we'll make sure all of that's available to you. So with that, I will turn it over to Ken. Yeah, thanks everybody. So my name is Ken Guo. I'm a technical marketing engineer with Alcura. Oops, sorry about that. I'm a technical marketing engineer with Alcura. So I've been in the networking and uh, uh, cloud space for about 15 years, working mostly on the uh, vendor side. And uh, yeah, so uh, really excited here to share the joint solution today. Um, and that would be really it interested to hear all your feedback right after this presentation demo. So here's the agenda for the day. And uh, Jeff, sorry, but go ahead and introduce yourself. That's all right. Yep. So this is Jeff Kopko. I'm a Cloud Alliance architect here at Checkpoint, um, primarily responsible for um, anything we're doing technical wise integration between cloud vendors and um, integration partners. Uh, and Ken and I have been working together on this for a couple of months. Um, so we're, we're pretty excited about this partnership. Um, so with that, uh, I'll do a quick introduction to Checkpoint, and then you'll hear, uh, as you guys all know, who we are. I'll try to breeze through this. Then you'll hear from Ken uh, about Alkira and what, what they're doing, and then how we're providing um, really a great security story together with simplicity for cloud connectivity. Um, so Checkpoint, as you're all aware, uh, global leader in cybersecurity. Um, 28 years of cutting edge technologies. Um, we've been traded on NASDAQ since 1996. Um, nothing new there. Um, next slide. Um, during the years, we've got many recognition on our products. Uh, to name a few, we've been uh, 20 times leader in, uh, on the Gartner Magic Quadrant for network security. Um, and we are gonna focus on network security today, uh, Cloud Guard Network Security. Um, that's really the bread and butter of what Alkira is doing with their solution. Um, we also have endpoint uh, and mobile solutions. Um, and Forrester has named us a leader for endpoint security. Um, really what we're going to talk about today, uh, next slide, um, is the foundation for a layered uh, security posture or a security platform um, in cloud environments. Uh, so we're going to focus on the bottom there, cloud network security. However, um, for most organizations, uh, they're gonna involve posture management, workload protection, AppSec, and intelligence threat hunting as well. Um, so be sure to uh, check out our other products as well um, beyond the foundation, uh, which is network security. Um, so next slide. Uh, actually, let's just put all those up there, uh, cycle through these. Um, so, Generally speaking, uh, Checkpoint has solutions for, I think there's one more there, Ken. Checkpoint has solutions for any of the different cloud providers, uh, on-prem or private cloud, uh, to provide network security um, with automated blueprints, with uh, agility and elasticity, so uh, dynamic scaling. Um, we're also integrated into native security controls on many of the clouds, and we are covering the, all different use cases on our cloud providers. Now, what we're going to hear from Alkira and I'll let Ken take over here in a minute. Um, Alkira provides uh, all of these same advantages in multi-cloud um, environments, as well as providing an easier on-ramp for onboarding your cloud connectivity. Uh, so we're really, we're really excited about that uh, partnership. So uh, we'll hear from Ken a little bit about Alkira, uh, and then we'll um, talk about the advantages of the joint solution. Right, thanks, Jeff. Mm -hmm. So I'll start off by telling you a little bit about Alcara. Uh, so the company was founded in 2018 by co-founders who are also 
uh, co-founders of uh, Viptela, which was a networking company in the, uh, that pioneered the SD-WAN space. Um, so with Alcara, what they wanted to do was they wanted to bridge the gaps that they saw in network connectivity and security when enterprises you know, started consuming public clouds and moving their workloads to, to the cloud. So um, the company was back, is backed by some of the tier one VCs and our first product, Network Cloud, was actually launched in April of, uh, of 2020. And then since then, we have partnered with some of the uh, biggest cloud and security providers uh, like AWS and Checkpoint. So why Alkira Network Cloud? Um, and and you know, why would you even consider Alkira, right? For your uh, for connectivity and security for your multi-cloud network. So you know, as we can see, you know, since uh, over the last decade, really, due to business application needs, instead of building data centers, enterprises have moved their application infrastructure to the cloud to be more agile, more scalable, and innovate and grow quickly. And I think you know, there's a, a very famous uh, article, I believe, uh, in 2011, where uh, where Andreessen Horowitz were quoted as saying, right, software is eating the world. And we're literally witnessing that today over the last, uh, not just today, but over the last few years. So similarly for applications, um, instead of uh, applications that enterprise consume, you know, be, having been sit, uh, sitting on-prem, they have also moved from on-prem applications to a SaaS model such as Office 365, Zoom, as we are on today. Um, and, and Slack and Salesforce, just to name a few. So if we look at network and connectivity in the modern era, the, the network perimeter is no longer just bounded to the on-premise networks. And IT teams now have to you know, learn networking and security in the cloud, uh, which is fairly unique for each of the cloud service providers and carry their own set of limitations. And on top of that, right, you also have to think about building an architecture to connect existing branches and data centers remote users, um, as I am working from home right now at this moment, and also doing so security and efficiently. And that is really a lot to ask. So what Alkira aims to do with our uh, solution is to provide a platform that simplify multi-cloud networking, uh, solve these um, challenges we just, this, uh, we just talked about, both in terms of technology and, and agility, and also offer it as a service. So how we do that is by offering a platform we call Cloud Service Exchange. And so what it is, is it's really composed of uh, two main components, the Alkira CSX portal on the upper right there, and then the Alkira CXPs or Cloud Exchange Points. So the Alkira CXX portal is uh, the management plane for the solution. And it's a portal where customers and partners uh, with access for configurations, monitoring, day two operations, and et cetera. The Alkira CXPs, which is, uh, they're, they're essentially, um, they're globally distributed uh, full mesh pops that Alkira deploys and manages as a service. So they can be provisioned on, on demand and scales with the customer as you know, your network grows. They provide data plane services to connect uh, sites, uh, remote users, SD-WAN edges, uh, and then obviously the cloud networks such as AWS VPCs, um, Azure VNet, GCP VPCs, and, and also uh, Oracle, uh, o Oracle OCI VCNs, right? So within this, this full mesh of uh, CXPs, so you can think of them almost like a global uh, cloud backbone, if you will. So we offer third-party services from our marketplace, and this is where you can deploy the checkpoint cloud guard firewalls within the CXP. And that's really the joint solution, right? We'll uh, talk about and also I'll demo uh, a bit today. Okay, so just very briefly, I just want to take, uh, want to take a look at how Alkira simplifies network security for a multi-cloud architecture and look at a high level what our solution, um, what components our solution abstracts and then how we can connect your remote sites and cloud networks. So to start, uh, first you have to, you know, obviously get connectivity or get access to the Alkira portal. And then you would basically bring up the CXPs uh, in the regions that you, you need, right? So the CSPs, again, are uh, globally distributed full mesh pops, right? That we manage and deploy around the globe. And then you would configure what we call segments and segments are basically logic, a logical segregation of uh, routing domains and, and, and the data plane. And so if you come from a traditional enterprise networking 
um, background, then they're basically VRFs. So what the segments allow us to do is we will help you extend uh, VRFs from your on-premise networks all the way to the cloud. So next you would connect your uh, data centers or, or other important on-prem sites and, and also your cloud networks to the CXP. So in this case, it could be you know, numbers, hundreds of VPCs, let's say within AWS. And you would assign them to a segment. In this case, we've named the segment line of business one. So just imagine if you have different lines of businesses, they could sit on different uh, VRFs or different segments and be completely segregated from each other. And then there's also uh, a group tag. In this case, it's called group prod there. It's basically a logical uh, tag we assign to what we call connectors. So the data center will be an on-premise connector in this case. And then the, um, the VPCs here would be what we call cloud connectors. So then you assign a tag onto them. And then the, the, the group tag, the use of them is really for policy management and create using our policy framework to build uh, essentially a global security posture. So then you would have um, the, you would put in firewalls in each of the CXP regions. And so the firewall ins insertion integration with CloudGuard is really what we're uh, focused on today. And then after that, you can, um, you can connect to regional internet exits if you want that, and then connect your branches and remote users, SD-WAN edges, et cetera. And then at last, right, as you're migrating to a multi-cloud model and you're bringing in additional cloud service providers, you would then connect those additional clouds to our CXP as well. And you can actually leverage the same set of, uh, of firewalls in the CXPs for any of these endpoints. So as you're adding, these additional VNets or GCP VPCs, as you grow, you can actually leverage the same set of firewalls, but obviously, right, those policies on the, on the firewalls would have to grow as well. So next, let's talk a little bit about how the Checkpoint and Elkira joint solution uh, works. So after these cluster of firewalls, right, cluster of, uh, of cloud guard firewalls are brought up in each regional CXP, uh, they're not available as firewall instances in an off this off path design. And then you can leverage the Alcara policy framework to forward the desired traffic to the groups of Cloudgar firewalls. So you can configure the policies which can uh, match traffic based on higher level constructs like connectors, right? The actual sites themselves or groups like we just discussed in the last slide, basically a tag that, that you can assign to multiple resources uh, to build the policies. So then you match traffic based on these constructs, or you can match traffic based on uh, you know, ACL-like attributes, like six tuple values. So uh, by the way, this is not a, a, a typo. So well, most of you, especially from a um, security background, would, very, would be very familiar with five tuple. So we say six tuple because we're also able to match on DSCP values. So from there, once you match the traffic flow, either based on connectors, tags, or these six tuple uh, values, then you can decide whether to permit the traffic, right? Um, whether to deny the traffic, if it, or you can then do a service insertion for that traffic. Okay, so we basically provide a simple way to build a uniform security architecture for the cloud. You can leverage Alcara's policy framework as a layer three firewall, if you will, like a network firewall for globally for all of your uh, connected connectors. And then you can for then for anything, any other traffic flow that you need to be for uh, you need to to be further inspected. Um, for example, maybe traffic to and from data servers, which are really important. And there are some compliance requirements for them. You can then forward that traffic through the checkpoint cloud guard firewalls for inspection, logging, visibility. So I'm going to pause here to see if there are any questions. So if you do, you can go ahead and put in the Q&A. Yeah, hey, Ken. So uh, I had a question here. Can you talk a little bit about the differences between uh, the Alkira network policy or network intent uh, and how that differs from the checkpoint security policy that we're uh, enforcing here within Alkira? Right. So in this case, they're actually separate. Um, they, they work together, but then they're independently configured. So the 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 
Um, the policy framework that, that Alcara offers, they're used for, you know, sort of uh, uh, matching. I would I think of them as layer three firewall capabilities for a global um, for global connectivity. So, like I mentioned, you know, once you have these connectors put in these groups, right, um, then you no longer have to worry about allowing specific IPs or subnets to your resources. You can build policies allowing groups to group um, connectively, or you can you know, basically uh, say, oh, okay, for, for specific traffic flows, you can also be very granular and match specific subnets or IP addresses, and then insert them through, um, through the, the cloud guards. On the cloud guard side, you know, where your access control policies, your threat preventions, all of that additional capability, those are the, those are basically you know uh, independent and they sit on the firewalls. So even for uh, for things that that uh, we forward to the to the to the checkpoint uh, cloud guards, even if they are permitted within our layer three firewall rules, right, they can still be denied by uh, by the by the cloud guards. Gotcha. So I think one way to to think about that, as as I understand it, is. Um, Alkira is providing a connectivity model and a, and a connectivity policy, right. whereas Checkpoint is providing a full uh, deep packet inspection threat prevention um, uh, capability on top of a connectivity model. Um, yeah, I think you've summarized it better than I could. Yeah. yeah. Um, I have a related question because I'm trying to get my mind around this. So this, this, what you guys are providing sounds kind of like what VMware is doing with NSX in terms of traffic steering. And so you can say, and, and, you know, in, in doing, um, you know, some basic, um, some basic sanity checks as to who can talk to what, right. Is that, is that a, is that a fair description of it? Or is there, or is there something more that I'm missing? Yeah, I think the VMware at NXX, if I'm not wrong, is more of a, um, they, they do it more at a site level or a uh, data center, you know, more of a uh, per site. Our policies are more of a logical policy that you can apply uh, sort of enterprise wide. And, and you'll see that in, in the demo in a little bit as I'm showing an example of that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, conceptually speaking, though, you're that you've got these different sets of resources that need to talk to each other and you're making sure that only the, the things that, you know, that you're, you're steering the traffic where it needs to go. So it gets there and goes through the appropriate security controls and so on. It's, it, it, yeah, I understand there's some differences because yeah, you're talking about things in multiple sites and multiple clouds, but the idea being that you're providing some sort of central control over how that traffic flows and what things they flow through. Yeah, absolutely. I think, uh, um, I, yeah, you're absolutely right in terms of, uh, was, in terms of using it almost like a micro and macro segmentation, uh, it's very much that way Okay. with yeah. our policy framework. Yeah, that was, okay, I just want to make sure I understood it. And I think that just for everybody else's sake, if they, yeah, yeah cause that's, so yeah, cause that's important to, you know, to articulate, okay, this is the value that Alkira is providing here. And this is the, this is the value that Checkpoint's providing. So I can, it's a, yeah, it definitely makes sense that these, that uh, these solutions work well together. So. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Well, and, and I think uh, we'll touch on it in a minute here, but the, the real value, um, <laughs> I'm skipping a slide, I'm skipping <laughs> ahead, but that's all right. Just stay on this slide for a second. The real value of this partnership is that Alkira is providing the easy button for cloud connectivity and cloud on-ramp connectivity um, from ground to cloud, from ground to internet, or cloud to cloud um, as needed. Um, so, Alkira is providing the highway. We're providing uh, next generation security protection. Got on it. That highway. Yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, that, that, would makes, that makes nothing but sense. I just want to make yeah. sure it's, that I understood it at least. Uh, sure. Yeah. So actually, I've got another question here. Uh, and uh, if you've got one after that, Damien. Um, so Ken, how, uh, how are we dealing with uh, HA concerns or auto scaling concerns, dynamic uh, traffic capacity concerns in uh, Alkira and then how Alkira works with Checkpoint on that matter. Yeah, so um, we 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 don't use the trip that we don't use the the auto scaling groups or concepts like that. So when you provision the firewalls, you would define a minimum and maximum number of firewalls you want to deploy or provision per per region. And so 
we're constantly monitoring the health of the firewalls and also their utilization. And so once, uh, per, you know, let's say you bring up one firewall and you have a maximum uh, value for that CXP region being you know, five firewalls, then what happens is once the utilization of that firewall exceeds um, a certain threshold, then we'll automatically start provisioning another firewall. And so it's very similar to auto scaling in the cloud, but uh, we, we we sort of have our own technology for that. And so if they if a particular firewall go down, or if utilization all of a sudden increases um, due to certain uh, so for some reason, will automatically scale them for HA. So there these firewalls actually don't work as a cluster. Um, I think uh, Jeff, you might have to correct me here in the in the checkpoint terms. Um, however, we do kind of manage them as a as a cluster, and we're also constantly tracking, uh, you know, which flows are going through which firewall, so that even if traffic goes through multiple regions, we only send the traffic through one firewall. Gotcha. Yeah. So, um, as we have discussed, so this is not a checkpoint uh, like active passive cluster like we would see on prem. This is really a model of auto scaling, uh, like you might see in one of the cloud providers, but that auto scaling function is performed natively within Alkira. So it's not done with AWS ELBs or VMSS in Azure. Um, it's done natively in the Alkira platform. Right, so you're essentially offloading the, the life cycle of the firewalls to us, right? Uh, however, they still talk to your on-prem SMS uh, and, and et cetera. So yeah, SMS or MDS. It, the the traditional checkpoint managers are going to manage policy on these firewalls. Um, okay. So there is a question here about uh, tags, and will be able, will we be able to use them in the rules? I think let's see the rest of the solution, and then let's maybe expound on that in the Q and A session. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I think Jeff already sort of summarized our value for the joint solution here. So just a summary slide for, for the use cases. Um, so, you know, here you'll essentially have, uh, this is representing a, a CXP, right? Um, so then we have uh, auto scale for the, for the firewalls. You can connect once after you connect your on-premise resources and cloud resources to our CXPs, uh, then you can use our intent-based policy framework, right, to uh, to basically do service insertion uh, for, for, the tra for the traffic towards the cloud guards. And then within your cloud guard uh, SMS or MDS, you would still have your, your, um, your security policies or access control policies and all of the you know, layer sevens or application layer um, uh, security um, policies in place. So the, really the main use cases are traffic inspection for north-south traffic uh, to and from multi-cloud networks, and then east-west traffic, and then also for inspection of east-west traffic within a single CSP, um, mm -hmm. so between VPCs, for example, and then also between CXPs when traffic has to go from cloud to another cloud. Uh, there's a, also another use case, use case uh, which is very popular among our customers is cloud managed firewalls for regional internet exit. Uh, so for example, if you, if you have some of your sites, right, where they may not have um, a, a, a firewall, let's say on site, and you would like to you know, leverage um, the firewall within the Alcare CXPs for that particular site, uh, you can actually send traffic from that site to the regional CXP, right, for any traffic as exiting to the internet. Then the third use case is consolidated cloud guard um, security services for multi-cloud use cases. And I think we already talked a little bit about that, which is you know, once you've deployed a group of, uh, of cloud guard firewalls in a CXP region, uh, you can, if you want to reuse them for additional clouds, right? As you onboard, um, you're, you're, uh, onboard to a multi-cloud model. Right. So Jeff, uh, I, I will let you, uh, Go ahead and talk about the uh, uh, why Checkpoint plus Alkira. Sure, thanks. So um, realistically, as we already sort of mentioned, we're trying to lower uh, the barriers to entry for uh, multi-cloud security and management. Um, as you're probably well aware, uh, according to the HashiCorp State of the Cloud Strategy Survey, 76% uh, of organizations are already using multi-cloud. Um, and when you're in a multi-cloud environment, 
Um, there are different limitations about uh, inserting um, security inspection appliances in traffic flows. Uh, Alkira really removes those barriers by allowing you to send your traffic to Alkira or integrate with Alkira and have a centralized policy management um, featuring Checkpoint. Um, you'll see in a minute here during the demo, uh, their, their intent-based policies are really easy to understand, so they're connectivity policies, and they simplify the global and multi-cloud routing um, that otherwise is often uh, a mess and confusing and hard to troubleshoot and difficult for operational, um, uh, difficult to recover during operational problems. Um, in addition, as we mentioned, um, this is one set of firewalls that could, uh, can uh, really provide next generation traffic inspection for all of your cloud traffic, um, rather than maybe having some firewalls on-prem, having some firewalls in AWS, having some firewalls in Azure. Um, you can put them in one place um, and uh, simplify your deployment. Um, and then you've got seamless, simple, and cloud agnostic. Uh, actually, I already just said that, so yeah. Um, one other, uh, one other real important point to see, and I think we'll see this in the demo, is that Alkira provides selective firewall insertion um, to optimize firewall resources. So within the Alkira connectivity uh, matrix, you can choose which flows get sent to Checkpoint for next-gen inspection and which don't. So you have that ability. Um, I know at least in AWS, it's probably possible to do that, but uh, it would be a management nightmare to try to selectively insert and drop um, error insert uh, or not insert um, flows for inspection. Um, and then lastly, Alkira gives you visibility and simplified operations for your cloud flows. So you're really gonna be able to see who's communicating with what. Uh, there's a nice visualization platform there. Um, so from Checkpoint's perspective, um, on our, uh, the integration with Alkira. Um, my team is really aimed at uh, all the technical integrations with our cloud providers. And these are the top pain points we see from customers all the time. They're looking to minimize complexity. So their routing and redirection architectures. They're looking to minimize cost, um, meaning the number of security gateways uh, and the cost of those gateways that they have to deploy to provide enterprise-grade security. And Alkira really provides a great avenue to hit both of those customer pain points. Um, and then secondly, uh, we really wanna make sure we're able to cover all of the inspection flows with a consistent security architecture. As we mentioned, with Alkira and uh, one security policy or one uh, firewall deployment, um, we are able to cover ground to cloud, um, ground to internet or uh, SaaS services uh, like O365 uh, or Zoom. Um, we're also able within any given CSP to handle east, west, and outbound traffic. And then uh, what we're going to see here in the demo is inter-CSP traffic, or if if you're you know uh, if you need to have traffic between AWS and Azure and you want to inspect that, um, Alkira really provides a great mechanism for doing that. Um, finally, uh, as mentioned, customers want to inspect traffic once and avoid hairpinning. So Alkira provides a centralized location to um, consolidate traffic routing and provide security services. Um, so with that, I'll turn it back over to Ken uh, for a demo of the solution. And then we'll cover, uh, there's a couple uh, questions in the Q&A. We'll cover those. And if there are any more that come up from the demo, we'll answer them then. Yeah, thank you, Jeff. I think really covered that really well uh, and really hit the main points of, of value of this uh, joint solution. So in this demo, we're going to basically show a, um, a live uh, environment with all of these co uh, essentially connectors right on, on the Alcara CXX portal. So on the left-hand side, we have the on-prem sites, right? The data center and the branch sites. Um, and then on the right, we have the uh, cloud cloud connectors or your cloud networks, uh, as well as a couple of internet exit points. And then the middle, uh, this is really the focus of this joint solution is where we deploy the cloud guard firewalls, right? For traffic inspection, uh, threat prevention, et cetera, for any to, for really any traffic flow 
between any of these endpoints that is showing on this um, in this topology here. And so the different colors that we're showing are basically the segments. And again, sort of a VRF, you think about a from a traditional networking perspective. And so there's um, a couple of sites here, um, as well as some of the clouds that are in the corporate segment. And specifically, we're focused, we're going to focus on uh, the three of uh, these connectors here in red. So there's the AWS VPC here as a, um, a uh, subnet of 172. 16 uh, 100 the azure uh, vnet that has two subnets for you know with the uh, 120 and 121 as well as a uh, data center subnet that is 10 8 101 and you'll notice there's a apps users etc that are um, basically applied to the connector and that is the group tags that we've been sort of talking about right so if you look at it the data center one, as well as the AWS VPC here and the Azure VNet are tagged with apps um, group tag. And we'll show in a second that, you know, you can, you, you can basically say, okay, any traffic between the apps, right? So any uh, apps to app traffic, I want to service insert through the firewall, through the cloud guard firewalls. And then furthermore, if I have traffic from apps to apps, but they match destination traffic going to the second subnet uh, within Azure, the 172.16.121 uh, here, I may want to bypass the firewall. So that will be the, the use case um, I will demo in a little bit today, which is first is connectivity from a on-prem site to uh, both of these uh, cloud service prov provider networks on the right here, AWS and Azure. And then a second use case would be traffic from AWS to Azure. And then last use case is for anything going to the 172.16.121 subnet um, uh, within, you know, for anything apps to apps, then I want to bypass the, the firewall. So just to show the selective traffic insertion. So uh, Ken, one sec here actually, because I'm realizing, uh, uh, we definitely want to see the demo, but to clarify a question, because I realize this is a good slide, we had a question about what VRFs are. Um, so VRFs are virtual routing and forwarding instances, or you might hear network geeks call them VRFs. Um, VRFs are uh, sort of virtual routing domains. Uh, and on this diagram, there's a, there's a purple VRF, purple pink, that is the corporate segment, and there's a blue segment uh, called the PCI segment. So... Within the Alkira CXP, those are basically roads or connectors between those different logical entities. Um, so as you can see there, even though on the bottom left, we've got users uh, connected to all of the things on the right, only th that, that only that branch to the only thing on this diagram it can talk to from a connectivity perspective right, is the payments group on the top right, because that's the only member of its VRF. So there are literally no other roads from branch two to anywhere except payments. Now, the other VRF, the corp segment, has a bunch more roads and connectivity between each other. And that's really what a VRF provides. It provides a uh, network-based uh, or really a layer three-based uh, connectivity mechanism. Um, and then on top of that, we can layer additional services like the Alkira groups and like checkpoint uh, security policy. So just because yeah, so this VRF, is how to describe this. Yeah. Sorry, Jeff. I was going to say, yeah, VRF is basically segregation of, uh, of routing domains and, and data planes. So, um, you know, if you think about your corporate network, typically you have a corporate network and guest network and maybe another uh, PCI or, or HIPAA. Um, you know, network, and you want them to be completely segregated. You don't even want any type of uh, even, you know, let's say a map, right, to get there. Uh, you just want those things to be completely separated from each other. And so, currently, actually, the cloud providers don't um, don't provide that that capability natively. So um, that's really another use case for for Alkira as well. All right. Anything else, Jeff, you want to cover before I jump into the demo? Nope, I'm putting my dogs away. I'll be back in one sec. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, um, so I'm going to first go into the Alcura portal here. So this is the Alcura CSX portal. And this topology here really basically just exactly mimics um, the demo topology that I uh, we just showed in the last slide. The only difference here is we do have a, a VPC where a checkpoint SMS security management server is deployed in. And so that is going to be the, the SMS that the uh, checkpoint firewalls, which um, we have already provisioned within the CXP will talk to. Uh, so on the left-hand side, you have the on-prem sites, right? The data center one, and then the two um, branch sites, branch one and, and branch two that are um, basically a tag with users group. Uh, so note that there are actually two different CXPs in this case, so one is uh, based on the US West region, another one in the US East region. So you'll notice that when I you know, generate traffic, let's say from a client that's sitting behind data center one, going to um, the Azure VNet over here, right? Um, it's actually going across regions and going through two different CXP regions, but we'll see and prove to you later that it's only going through one uh, one cloud guard, uh, one group of cloud guard firewalls. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start um, start by VNC into a data center one client. So first thing is I'm going to log into a client that's uh, over here. I'm I'm going to access a, a VNet in AWS over here. Um, as well as uh, a Azure, uh, as well as servers sitting in the Azure VNet over here, right? Okay, so I'm here, and the IP address of this uh, client, which is in a corporate segment, is ten eight one zero one forty two, and I am just going to go ahead and ping the um, the Azure uh, VNet uh, server in Azure. So one seven two sixteen. 120.4, and we're good, right? So another server in Azure is 121.4. And you can see the latency is a little bit longer there because we're essentially going across country, right? And then getting that traffic back. Um, also- sure, Ed, just, just to note uh, for those, because I'm looking at the diagram and, and you guys aren't. Um, so that was from on-prem to two different subnets in uh, Azure. Um, yeah. And now, I think, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, Jeff. Yeah, now I'm, uh, I, I'm just going to check from, uh, um, you know, from basically this is a simple curl or on the, on the browser, right? So I'm checking connectivity to the AWS server, which is 172.16.100.48. Um, and then both of those Azure web servers, right? Um, that's uh, 172.16.120.4 and 121.4. So now we have the connectivity. I do want to show the policy uh, that, that we configured. And to be clear, this is that distinction between Alkira uh, intent-based policy, which is gonna provide the network connectivity and then checkpoint security policy, which we'll see in a second. Yep. Yeah, thank you, Jeff. Yeah. So here is the, the policy that's matching on that traffic, right? So if I expand this, actually, if I go back here and I press that, you can see it's highlighting, um, you know, essentially the connectors that applies to, to that policy. And if, if I, and this is users group, I apologize, this is for apps group there. So there are the th three connectors. That um, that applies that, that applies to that policy, and if I expand this, and you can see that I'm basically matching on any traffic with a scope of apps to apps, so groups to um, basically group apps group to apps group, and then on the rules we're decide you within the rule list, so you can create a rule list matching six tuple of uh, you know various different source and destination. Um, protocol, etc. Here we're we're basically saying for everything going to 
the 172.16.121 121 subnet, which is the second uh, Azure subnet, I am just going to allow it. But then for everything else, I want to go ahead and service insert that traffic through the checkpoint firewalls. Okay. Um, and so how we actually created this policy is uh, very straightforward. Maybe I should have shown that to start with, um, but basically you can create a policy and then you can select which segment that policy will apply to. You can then select, right, um, basically uh, the, the high level uh, constructs. So either connectors or groups, um, which connectors and groups to the traffic will, will be from and to. And then you can then match on additional six tuple attributes, right? So, um, and, and do that. So, so if I look at the apps group, rule again, right? That's exactly uh, what we did here is we match the scope for anything from the apps group to apps group, and then match on additional attributes and decide on what to do with them. So we want to allow traffic going to the Azure subnet, but then um, just let them through, permit them. And then for everything else, we want to service and serve that traffic through the group of uh, Cloud Guard firewalls, All right? So now I'm actually going to go into the SMS. And so um, you can see, I was already looking at this earlier. So if I just match on 10.8.101.42, which is this client that I VNC'd into, oh, sorry about that, looks like, um, then you can see, you know, based on the, the timestamp there, uh, it's showing, showing us all of the traffic, right? From that data center one to 172.16.120.4, which is the first Azure subnet. It's uh, being forwarded to the firewalls and further inspected. And then there's also the traffic flow to the AWS web server as well, right? 172.16.100.48. And the traffic for 172.16.121, which is traffic destined to that second uh, subnet in Azure, is now you know, uh, still permitted, but is is not afforded to the firewall. So just right. want to show that use case of uh, selective traffic insertion. Sure. So to be clear, the reason we're not seeing the, the third Azure subnet here is because the Alkira policy provides a road or a connectivity between on-prem and that second subnet. But it also says uh, we've chosen not to provide uh, next-gen traffic inspection for that subnet for whatever reason. Yep. Okay. Um, and so next, uh, the use case I want to show real quick is traffic from uh, between multi-cloud, right? So if I go back here, and so very quickly, I've um, you know I've uh, SSH into a Ubuntu server that's in that AWS VPC. Uh, as well as SSH into the server that's in the second Azure subnet there. Uh, just to prove to you that this is indeed the uh, a web server in AWS. You, know, you can see based on the metadata, it's in the, this uh, availability zone there. And from here, if I go ahead and ping, let's say 172.16.120.4, which is not this web server, but on the, uh, a server in the first subnet, um, I can get there just fine. So I'm going from a AWS subnet in that topology to the Azure VNet, right? And I'm going to go ahead and ping the second web server, which is actually this, oh, if I can spell. Almost. <laughs> It's actually this guy right here, right? So I can reach that just fine. And then we'll, we can then go back to the SMS again. And this time I'm going to refresh based on the IP address of the, um, the AWS web server, which is uh, 172.16.100.48. And so again, you'll see the timestamp time showing that 
uh, for any for traffic going to the first Azure subnet, it's service inserted through the firewall. And then uh, for the second subnet, it's bypassing it. So you know, we basically just showed you a uh, traffic inspection for cross-cloud east-west traffic, and then as well as traffic inspection for north-south traffic from a on-prem site to a to multiple uh, cloud networks. So Jeff, Very, uh, in case I missed anything, do you have anything you want to cover real quick? So no, um, that was very cool and I'm glad we got to see that. Um, I do want to uh, get to some Q and A here. So let's let me let me go through the the summary very quick, and then let's answer some of these questions because we do have some good questions here. Um, so Absolutely. very quickly, as we discussed, and actually we don't even need this slide. Well, put them up on the screen just for the heck of it. But we're providing uh, Alkira and Checkpoint are providing a centralized architecture for traffic inspection for any of your cloud flows. Um, we're providing a uniform security policy framework for any endpoint and any cloud. Um, and we're reducing complexity uh, with native cloud firewall deployments and or limitations of those native cloud firewall deployments. Uh, and oh, there you go. It's like, a, it's like I made these slides or something. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, so quickly. Um, let's go easiest first. We had a question about uh, licenses for auto scaling. So licenses for the Cloud Guard instances are available just like any other license and they're managed um, through your uh, management server, through your, your traditional SMS or MDS. You can apply by uh, bring your own licensing or pay as you go. Uh, and you specify that at the time of deployment on the Alkira um, CSP, uh, CXP setup uh, and firewall setup. So same licensing as you would with any of uh, your normal checkpoint firewalls. Um, okay. Um, yeah, I was just going to say, I'm showing the screen here. Um, when you provision a firewall, you can decide on you know, whether you want to do BYOL or um, pay as you go. All right. Um, okay. Uh, so we had a, a question here about, um, will CloudGuard be able uh, to work with the tags or groups defined in Alkira. Uh, can we build Cloud Guard rules with those tags? So I'm going to say right now we haven't focused on that. Um, I think there's a lot of capabilities. Um, this would all be API driven and we do have API um, uh, communication between Alkira and um, uh, an SMS or MDS. So um, I'll let Ken sort of uh, expand here. I think there are possibilities and this would be something that we should work with account managers um, on the Alkira and Checkpoint side to see what you'd like and what kind of possibilities there are there. Yeah, I was. <coughs> I think this is one of the discussions, right, Jeff, I think you and I had um, actually multiple discussions on this at one point. So. You know, we're so far the that is currently not there, meaning that we're not going to proactively go and modify your access control policies on the S SMS and etc. But yeah, if that is something that you think you know would be right useful for your deployments, and and that's definitely something that uh, you can bring up to your account team, and then we can explore between Alkira and Checkpoint. Sure, and just to be clear. Um... We're not doing any policy control. We, we've chosen not to. I mean, there are possibilities there, but I think more of this question was around, could we make the data that Alkira has on those groups visible to Checkpoint? I think that's certainly possible. We just haven't really worked on yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, it's the same framework that, you know, it's, it's you know, um, the, you know, yeah, it's the cl you know, CloudGuard connector, right? That's the- Exactly, yep. We just haven't built a purpose a, a purpose-built connector for Alkira. Yeah, exactly. But it, I mean, it's so it's definitely possible. And if it is something that's of interest, then um, yeah, approach your yeah approach your account team, and we can. Uh, it's something that I'm sure we can uh, we can look at. And it's you know I, I I don't know what the Alkira APIs are, but I assume it's I assume it's all feasible. Yeah. yeah. It, same. Like it's all if it's API driven, it's possible, right? So yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Um, Ken, I'll let you take this one. Uh, 
there was an ask for demonstration of Oracle Cloud. And I know this demo focused on AWS and Azure, but you want to touch on Oracle quickly? Yeah, actually, uh, that capability is uh, GA um, in about th uh, two weeks, end of this month. So we will have a, a native integration with, uh, with Oracle VCNs, just like we currently do with Azure GCP um, and uh, AWS. All right, let me here. I'll ask this. Actually, I'll kind of combine these two questions. So, sure. um, for the Alcura piece to work, it sounds like you have to have a VPN set up between the um, between the different uh, data centers, as it were, and uh, you know, and, and your and your CXP. Um, is 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 that really the so is that really the case? Um, and uh, also, what's the throughput? That's uh, you know, the, what's the what's the throughput restriction? Because sometimes the, the, those are those go hand in hand. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, absolutely. So for the on-prem connectors to connect to Alcura, you can either leverage um, your SD-WAN fabric. So you can provision, let's say, SD-WAN appliance within the Alcura CXP as well, uh, or you can for like a data center. Yeah, I would say you would use multiple IPsec tunnels and then do ECMP across them. Each uh, Alcura tenant, when they're provisioned, can be you know sized for a certain throughput, all the way up to um, all the way up to to ten. Sorry, I think it's uh, right now GA to five gig gigabits per second. Um, so on the cloud side, that's uh, you know the, how you onboard the cloud connectors with the different cloud networks is. You know, we for AWS, I'll just give an example. So Jeff is definitely more familiar with that than I am. But we essentially would automatically program your um, your AWS uh, uh, VPCs using a provided IAM role, and then change your uh, route tables to you know have traffic point at and at an Alcara. Uh, transit gateway, you know, for example. So, so yeah, um, for on-prem side, you there it, it is going to be IPsec tunnels, right? So all that traffic is going to be encrypted. And then on the cloud side, we use the the um, uh, native cloud constructs and to to basically um, point traffic, you know, from your different VNets or VPCs to Alcara. Okay, got it. Yeah, just and so okay, I think that that got both of those questions. So. Um... So, and then I guess the fall, and then then um, what's the expected overhead for this additional traffic redirection? I mean, and, and I know it's going to vary based on where it's going and that kind of thing, but I mean, and I assume it's just additional latency, correct? Is there any other? Um... Yeah, I think that's a that's a really good question. Yeah, so um, unfortunately, I don't have it open right now, but we we actually keep track of a matrix of uh, latency between clouds. Uh, so, for example, latency between AWS and Azure, etc. So, if you're if you bring up if you decide to bring up a CXP in AWS, and then you have a, a Azure um, VNet right that's connecting to the Alcara CXP uh, in AWS, I mean, you can bring up a um, one in Azure. But just let's say we, we give that example. Yeah, the latency is, uh, I think, from everything we've checked in the same region um, across the board, it's usually less than 10 milliseconds. So that is really, I, I think, the, um, I would say, one drawback, if you will, right, of, of this uh, solution. Um, the, other, the other question, I think, was in terms of throughput. Uh, Jeff, maybe I will have to leverage your expertise on that. Yeah, well, so actually, um... From Alcura side, if we're talking about IPsec throughput, we're going to be at that that five gig range, like you mentioned. Um, the expected overhead for the the traffic inspection. So again, Alcura is providing the highway, the network connectivity model. When we add checkpoint um, next gen traffic inspection on top of that, really the overhead is it's it's an IPsec connection from Alcura to checkpoint. So it's going to be your standard IPsec overhead there, um, which, uh, you know, it's something, but um, I, we don't have specific numbers on that yet. It's, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think also for next steps in, in terms of further, you know, integrating the solution, I think Jeff and I had also talked about one point of uh, essentially using um, you know, using Geneve, right, as encapsulation, which, which is going yeah, to which would improve it. that, that sure. overhead. Yep, absolutely. Um, we have one more question here. We've probably got we've got time for maybe one or two more questions. Um, um, is, Jeff, you want to try and take a stab at this because this. Yeah. So this is a it's a multi-layer question here. So um, 
let's read it out. Uh, with the use cases that we envision uh, for large, complex, multi-cloud enterprises, does the application developer have use cases where they use Alcara? Does the AWS infrastructure as co- uh, in- infrastructure as code, uh, aka Cloudform or Terraform builder, have use cases where they use Alcara? Um, so right now, well, I, I guess let me ask Ken: Are you deploying any of this with infrastructure as code, or is it all deployed through uh, your portal? Yeah, so um, most of our customers use our portal, but some of the really big customers we have do leverage uh, Terraform exclusively. So we are a Terraform provider. And yes, you know, these uh, checkpoint, uh, the Cloud Guard firewalls can be provisioned using Terraform. Gotcha. Okay. So yeah, I mean, I'm, I think that answers the question. If there was something I missed in there, please do uh, follow up with us or maybe put it in the, uh, in the Q&A here. Yeah, I, I mean, I think, um, yeah, our solution is definitely geared right towards the network and security uh, teams. However, you know, we, we do hear some very interesting uh, use cases from the, the, the uh, dev teams as well. I think one recently I heard was, you know, basically uh, when you're using AWS EKS, for example, and you bring up a cluster, um, you know, essentially of, uh, of Kubernetes clusters within, within you know, AWS and how do you, you know, how, how do you leverage Alcura, right, to um, basically automatically automatically limit access to, let's say, those Kubernetes clusters without having to constantly manage your security groups, right? So that's something that's pretty interesting that was brought up. And, and you know, we also discussed things like, okay, with a private cluster, you can potentially, you know, private cluster as in they have no, um, the, if, the, if those, um, uh, containers don't have any access to internet, you can literally have the security group set to allow all on there within that that um, that VNet, uh, v- VPC uh, and then have a default route, right? Pointing at Alcara. And then from there, you would then use the Alcara policy framework, right? To manage all of your connectivity and, and security inspection needs for that particular cluster and then bring up checkpoint firewalls and the, the Cloudguard firewalls for for any of the layer seven inspection. Sure. Uh, all right. Thanks, Ken. So we've got one last one here. And actually, it's an interesting point. Um, are there any roadmap plans for integration of the Alkira topology into CloudGuard CSPM for governance and compliance visibility? So um, we haven't actually talked about that, but that's, uh, I think, an excellent idea that we should put on our uh, our next topics of integration. Um, and I'll just say uh, we could we could explore adding first class objects for Alkira to provide like like uh, the uh, participant asked here, governance and compliance visibility for the Alkira um, CXPs. Um, so yeah, I think um, definitely if there is uh, customer demand there, that certainly helps. So please do follow up with your account manager and SE on the checkpoint side or the Alkira side and let them know that you're interested. Um, but I will certainly take that back um, to our side, our R&D teams and our product manager. And I don't know if you have anything to add there, Ken. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think definitely something we should uh, should explore. I'll take note here. So yeah. 